Tuesday, the 16th of, of August 2016, and into the police station. I come from Mundamba by train, and the first scene of course was a coal train coming through Mundamba, and I'm going to spend some time here and get a bus into the city and a train to Kempi North. I'm at the uh, bus interchange in Kapili. There goes the 460. Around the corner. friends and fellow enthusiasts. This is platform two and you'll see here this is actually standard gauge and narrow gauge or fuel gauge in other words. Um, we have a suburban set there. And buses are coming here all the time. All the time man. So, very busy location. The interesting thing here is that uh, this platform too, there's a, there is a train over there, but this is where the XPT train from Prince Sydney and Brisbane comes in and goes back out again. At the moment, at ridiculous hours of the day, and we're, we're in fact travelling on that next month, and comes in at 3.53 in the morning, and, uh, and it's what you could call bright and early.
Spirit Point Slam from Camp are coming in on platform. Mm -hmm. So, a couple of minutes early. to go from Brisbane to Rockland back in the 90s.
I saw a minute ago seems unusual because I think up past 10 in the morning but that might have been the uh, spur of the outback come running extremely early, I don't know. Just saw that quick look at that train as we go past, as it went past. Woods 
hotel. Just arriving now, but now what you see from there is a Coles, what well, that used to be the site of the depot for the two foot gauge. Should have came on. A bit of work going on here, obviously, at the platform. And uh, three platforms here, as I've seen. Island platform here in the middle. Well, oh, that's actually a dock platform there. It's the main platform here at uh, Namble. It's quite a large place. Just leaving Namble. Buses go from here to where Sunshine Coast locations as is the case coming up with uh, Kuroi. There's a uh, bus line going across to uh, uh, the coast. That'll be the Bruce Highway. Station Gallery. Traveston there's no doubt it's the smallest railway station in Australia with a regular passenger service and uh, passengers have to detrain from the front door of the front car that is the station Platformers wouldn't be one car length long. And there's not much here. There is the original line into Gimpy. The little station here was called Nashville. Not in Tennessee, but in Queensland. There was Mary Valley Tourist Railway around along here and I think it's closed down for a while. Fairly sure. No, that's not the actual junction. I thought it was. Junction can't be far away then. Must be a little siding. That's the actual junction into the town, the old line. Not much used today. As I said, the tourist train line ran along there. It may come back someday. That's into the town of Gimpy. This is only one of the many 
deviations around towns in Queensland and fly past the actual town that the railway used to run to. So we're now going to Gympie North, which is Gympie is a very large place, and you can see a little bit of it off in the distance, but it's quite a large town and they're building up in population too. Please leave the service. This is Gympie North Station. Yep, it sure is, and uh, it is to the north of Gympie, all right. Some, some several kilometres out of town, but we're here. And I'll take a movie of the train outside when we step out. Well, here's the train arrived at Gympie North. There's a little bus that takes people down into the heart of town. An e bus with its uh, luggage trailer on it. And a, a taxi, taxi taxi, and a couple of people collecting friends and family here. Fairly remote location actually. But still it's only a few kilometres from away from town. These uh, cars, as I think might have mentioned earlier on, a former Spirit of Capricorn cars were built in the late 80s, or they ran through the 90s from Brisbane to Rockhampton. They cut the travelling time of the former service, which was the uh, Capricornian. It was an overnight train, it used to run about 14 hours, it became 9 hours, and the tilt train got it down to exactly seven hours for a while and it takes a bit longer now they just couldn't maintain that seven hour schedule but it's pretty good and it's, it's a nice train to travel on and these are quite nice cars and I'm traveling on these for I don't know about maybe the last time because they and they talk about selling those to uh, some buyers overseas and they'll get 15 to 20 years more service out of them no doubt Next service on platform number one will be the oil stations to Kingston and Billy. Billy service next on platform number one. Bowen Hills and the uh, The commercial express service will be our next service on platform Gimpy's number four. Gimpy is going four. into this service will be running express from North Cape to Kingston. The commercial express service arriving next on platform number four. Billy service arriving on platform number one. Train I'll be catching out to Bundamba. Next service on platform 4 will be the Petrie service, Petrie service next on platform 4, Ipswich, Oz, Brisbane City and Ipswich arriving on platform number 3. This service will be running express from Milton 2 in Europe. And this is the